Well, good day, folks. Next victim. So anyway, self-propel. I think the turn, the axle drive slash, I don't call it that, transmission is okay. Look at that, the tires are, just a minute. Tires are worn right off of it. The, uh, the guy who owned it before me, this is how he engaged the front wheel drive. He pulled this up, pardon me, after, once again, right? One hand. Okay, so that's how he engaged the front wheel drive down this cable out to there. And you see that pulled tight. And then we'll release it. There. And then the front wheel drive comes off. I don't like that. But I have another one of those. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fix this. First of all, we got to get it running. And I pulled my brains out and it just uh, fires a little bit. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to uh, just take off enough plastic here so I can get out the input. It's actually going to be a nice looking lawnmower when we're done. Let's just pull some plastic off. So Ken, have you, Ken from Ken Small Engines, have you seen anything like this? Ah, oh. now we're getting somewhere. I guess I can just leave that. Take this off. Wow. Maybe this came over from another country. I don't See, oh, it came from the States. Look at that. Sears and Roebuck. Whenever you see that, we used to be uh, Simpson Sears, and you guys were Sears and Roebuck. So that's worked its way up here from the United States of America. It's a pretty sweet machine, but I, if I need parts for that carburetor, I think I'm toast. But now I can squirt stuff in there. Let's pull the plug. This is a champion, probably an RJ19LM original. Yeah, okay, it's a RJ19LM. So I'm gonna just clean it up on the on the wire brush grinder and I'll be right back. Yes, the compressor's going. Look at that, it looks brand new. Even gap. Well now I'm gonna stick it in the engine while you watch and listen. That racket. There we go. Oh. I'll just give it a little closer look over. Let's do a little more exploratory work, if you guys can see. I don't want to close that door. There's definitely a rod missing on the throttle. Yeah, there's no throttle rod. There. There's the intake there. Coming in the bottom. It's got two bolts holding the rewind on, but they're coming from the inside. And a three quarter inch bolt on the flywheel. I better not break anything on here, I'll never get it going again. I want to hear it run. 
Oh, there we go. There's one of the gaskets. Better put that there and make a new one of those. Well, let's give it a yank. The dipstick tube, can't forget about that. Good, now I can now I can play. Let's just squirt a little go juice right into the throat here. And it should bark. There Too bad. <laughs> Okay, one more thing. There. Uh, does it want to go? Okay. Carburetor should be full now. It's loosening up though, I can tell. Which direction do I go? Alright you guys, I'm going to get that carburetor off of there. I've like had it to fire and not fire and it's very frustrating. It looks like some kind of a... Uh, torques. I think I better use a ratchet on that. <laughs> we'll get that carburetor off and see how clean it looks inside, right? Okay, here we go. Good. Okay, let's get the uh, stuff cleared away. I got a real mess going here. Look at this. I thought I was going to need handlebars and wheels. And then this just all piled up within a period of about four minutes. All right, guys, let's have a look inside this critter. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Have you guys ever like the, I'm this is all new to me, man. I don't know who started this evilness. And this almost looks like, like the new Briggs carbs, eh? Oh my god, I don't want to break anything or we gotta start all over. That's definitely a Tecumseh uh what do you call that? A Tecumseh emulsion tube. We got this bead if we can... Uh, there's nothing to this carburetor. It's just like those new Briggs ones, eh? Yeah, it's plugged. So what do we do? Ah, uh, Papa San. We're almost there. So what, uh, what do you guys think, man? This is a pretty weird more. It's just like those new plastic uh, Briggs, eh? I didn't break it. And then look at that. No, needle. Now we need to get some air, some flow through there. There we go, baby. I'm going to go this way. I'm not going to go the other way.
Everything else looks pretty good actually. Tecumseh seat right in there. You see the little white spot right in that corner. There. Right there. And then this needle. So now we have it. It's clear. This was plugged. All right? And then this sat on this sat on here like that. Uh, well, we might as well stick it in. I don't think we'll be taking it out again. Like that. And then this just clips in just like the... Uh, just like the modern Briggs that I hate so much. Now we got this block. How much is there? Oh, there is a little fine tuning in the block. Because there's the jets for the idle jets right there, unless that's air. Look at that. This is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. There we go. But I don't understand what that's empty for. So now we have to think about this. We'll get it. So there we go. That's on the engine like that. That goes on. Um, yep. Yeah. To the outside. Like that. Okay, my friends. I don't know if I got a leaking carburetor or not because I'm spilling so much gas. But I have to be the choke, the uh, the governor, and the starter all in one. Are you ready? Well, let's get. And I got you a different battery, so we should be good. Don't don't do the safety sam on me, okay? Isn't that cool? We ran it enough to get it warm. Now I'm going to just fill up that carburetor full of water, full of gas, full of water again. I'll just let that drink for a bit. I'm going to clean up for the day. But I, I, but I don't understand, guys. Is there's a. Okay, where is that baby now? Right there. There's an inlet. And there's no filter or anything on there. And I'm not taking that carburetor back off of there if it, if it continues to behave in a positive manner. It's kind of fun coming out. It's like, now you know what guys that have never worked on lawnmowers before that are mechanically inclined, but they've never worked on a lawnmower. Fun! So I don't say anything about, you know, the drill on the flywheel and and the open thing and the flywheel flying around. I know. I love it. Okay, my friends. There is the governor rod. And there is the throttle arm. Now, usually, when you activate the governor rod, this increases the RPM when you go vroom like that. And we have to hook it up so that it pulls that way, which means it pulls that way. And the distance that I've measured now, I will measure it one more time, full throttle. 
just like setting up a, throw, uh, a governor, right? I'm going to do it in millimeters. 17. 17 centimeters on the schnoz. We'll start with that. What the heck? I've got lots of rods to pick from. And I've still got some stainless steel rods over in storage. So 17, we want that notch at. Oh, that's 17 right to there. Well, I think I'm just going to take this one and cut it off a little long. And if I want to make a Z, I will. <laughs> okay. So saw the hack or do I use electricity? Saw the hack. Set it into the hole without making the Z bend and it'll be easier to measure. So let's just do this. Now I'll show you how interesting this is going to be. Do the Z-bend on the carburetor. Oh, well, I've got to turn it 90 degrees. Okay, come over here. So this, this right here has to be facing toward you guys. A little spring, so we'll have to take it past its point. There we go, that's perfect. That might even work. And when we're done, we'll put a Z band on it like that. So, how do I keep that in there? Just a tiny, tiny tie wrap for now. So, my electrical background sometimes helps just. I need something like a third hand to hold that while it's running. Oh, uh, no. And I've got these old tie wraps that came from the old days. Any cable splicer would see that. I don't work for now. Okay. Now I'm going to try and get this running. Now, no more, no more safety sallies telling me what to do here, okay? Okay, that's pretty darn good for a first guess, eh? I mean, that the length of that governor rod was just a swag, a scientific wild guess. And I can control it by the, oh my gosh, by that spring right there. If you can see that spring right there above there, I'm going to tighten that up and we're going to give it another shot. <laughs> we might not even have to uh, we might not even have to uh, tighten anything guys do you see that right there right there on my finger I bet you if we bent that a quarter of an inch we'd have a smooth runner so I'm going to do that right now We're going to start her up again. All right, yes, I know this isn't great. We're going to put some fuel in our, give her a drink. Need a little choke, okay? Eh? Oh, 
close, baby. So I think I need a governor rod that's just a tad shorter. Half a, half a centimeter. But when I nail the throttle down, I don't get full throttle. I might just have to adjust that a little bit. Right there. So that it pushes that way while at rest. It's too fun. Alright. So this whole piece is the uh, is the gasket. I, th I thought it was just this this is glued onto here and I thought I was gonna just have to either make or use that one. So this one does not, this is the original one I made the other day, yesterday, does not fit into that hole. This is a bender, this one does. So I'm just gonna put, I'm not gonna use the Z part, I'm just gonna use this uh, tooth part it goes in, it looks like about a quarter of an inch, and then it bends right around down, eh? So we want to go in about that far. That's pretty good. Pliers! How's that? Okay, so now this is this part you got to get right. We want it to be opposite of this one. So if, if it hooks into the carburetor like that, we want it to go this way. And where's the felt line? Right there. That's the. Oh, it only goes in that far, eh? So we're going to trim that off a little bit more. <coughs> Wrong wire. Man, the guy who came up with these 8 inch clients sure did something, eh? Okay, so on the opposite of that. Here, now I'm sure what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use this bar. This is a bar, we'll call it. So that we are emulating the shaft of the governor shaft right here. Do you understand what I'm doing here? That should just about do it. It's a little thin again, eh? What I'm doing, Ken? Thanks for helping me out on this one. Bring you back over here, and I'm just testing this primer bulb here. Okay, so it does it does pulse, but this is with liquid, right? Are you with me? So that should work. So the carburetor is hanging from this one bolt. The other one is just a quarter inch uh, holder on her, and I've got the thinnest layer of, come on baby, I've got the thinnest layer of grease just to hold those gaskets in place while I muck around like this. Like that. One, two, Three. Look at that. And I t I've showed you this hole before and I've held my finger over the hole. But I went online and I looked up this model on, because of Ken from Ken Small Engines, I found the model of this carburetor. Uh, so anyway, I went into my two stroke stuff and I put a Welch plug over that hole. I haven't hammered it in yet. But now we are running steady with no surging at 3150 RPM. So 
I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you me starting it. But when I come back, we'll show you the RPMs. Alright, so the primer bulb works. I got that, that on there. Looks like my gasket's going to hold. And now I'm going to just change these tires out. Believe it or not, I think the transmission's okay.